everybody, I'm DJ Boom, broadcasting live from the Hip Hop Shop. That's right, the National Hip Hop Museum has a retail store in Washington, D.C. And I'm in it, broadcasting to you live. Tonight is all about miniature things, really, really tiny things, okay? This is a teaser. Although this is available right now at nationalhiphopshop.com. We have all sorts of mini turntables. Look at this, uh, Technique 1200s, but it comes with like miniature records, okay? But tonight, um, this is another little teaser. Look at that, that's a USB stick shaped like an MPC uh, 2000, MPC 60. Look at that, all sorts of really cool miniature things, okay? But tonight is all about a company called Records Are Forever, and Records Are Forever is an amazing outfit out of Arizona that designs these amazing miniature uh, record crate. And look at these. Every single crate comes with like a different album in it, okay? This one is obviously the Wu-Tang Clan. Looks like it comes with Triumph and uh, the 36 Chambers, and it's got the, that amazing kind of like retro sticker feel, the KB Toys at the top. Really, really amazingly designed from Records Are Forever, and they come in all sorts of different styles, right? So now, here you go, you got the Doom, right? You got the black crate with the Doom, okay? You got the, uh, the De La Soul, three feet high and rising crate with the red crate, another red crate Sugar Hill Gang, okay? Ooh, look at that. Eighth Wonder is the other record, if you can see that in there. So each crate has two records in it. Um, look at that. Tribe Called Quest. We got uh, Low End Theory and a Wool and Midnight Marauders. I'm sorry. We got a Cool G Rap. Road to the Riches. Okay. So that's what's really amazing um, about these miniature crates. But he also did one that you won't find anywhere else for an estate that rarely does anything with anybody. That's right. This is an official J. Dilla crate that's done with the James DeWitt Yancey Foundation. Uh, my good friend, Tony Smith, who's my OG, happens to also be the husband of Ma Dukes. And they did this amazing crate right here. Okay, with Jay Dilla's last two albums in the crate, really, really limited edition, special run that they did with Trill. Okay, so we only have a few of these left. Make sure you get this. And as you can see, it's a, it's a little bit bigger than the regular ones. Really special, really dope. Speaking of only just a few left, we have maybe one of these left from the induction ceremony of the cast of Wild Style. That's right, this past summer in June, the National Hip Hop Museum was actually in Brooklyn inducting the entire cast and crew. You can see DJ Tony Tone from Cold Crushes on that second record. These are the two Wild Style records here. And then unlike the other ones on the back, there's an entire you know, bio about the film. This was done in conjunction with the National Hip Hop Museum and the National Hip Hop Shop for the 40th anniversary of Wild Style. This right here might be the very last one. So go ahead and click the, the link if you're on network or go to nationalhiphopshop.com if you're on YouTube. So <clears throat> the first time I ever, um, threw up from drinking. Okay, that's a great way to start this. Uh, I drank a 40 ounce. I was 14 years old and I went to a bodega in New York, where I'm from. And uh, I remember clearly buying Old English. Why, I mean, just because we saw it, because we saw tap the bottle and twist the cap, I think maybe is my guess, or maybe easy, I can't remember. It was me and one or two of my friends uh, we, we, uh, each got a 40, each one of us had our own 40 ounce, uh, 14 years old. Uh, my friend's mom was out at work all day long. We skipped school. We came home, we drank the 40 ounces and promptly threw everything in our stomachs up 
all three of us together in his mother's sink. His mother then came home and the entire sink was clogged with our vomit. That's right. And because of that, you should buy this. <laughs> if there is no other reason than to reminisce about all of your most horrible drinking experiences, <laughs> you gotta get an old English 40 ounce. He makes really dope ones. Normally we carry uh, the Doughboy 40 from, um, uh, what's that movie? Boys in the Hood, Ice Cube, uh, Doughboy. Normally we also carry the Easy E40. We do have that in stock right now. Um, there's some blue issues, but get your 40 ounces on. Uh, we also have some kids 40s coming in lady, later this week. Kids, the movie. Um, so please, <laughs> it sounded so crazy. No, not 40 ounces for children. Uh, the movie kids when they were drinking 40 ounces in the movie. Anyways, get one of these. They're super dope. They're super rare and they sell out quickly. Okay, that's enough talking because life is short. In fact, life is too short. That's right. The iconic album from West Coast MC, Too Short, Life is Too Short, is memorialized with the actual, you know, replica, miniature, gravestone, a little bit of a uh, little bit of AstroTurf there in the front. This is a really, I mean, if you love Too Short the way I love Too Short, bitch! Sorry, I just have to, like, whenever I hear the word Too Short, I feel um, obligated to say that, but this is so dope, man. Add that to Turn your collection. Turn it so they can see the depth. Oh yeah, this is super dope. I mean, can you see how big and kind of like why that is, is like really kind of a full um, tombstone there. Um, and it's the exact, you know, cover from his album, Life is Too Short. So get that, super iconic. What a great thing to put on your shelf. All right, you are not a graffiti head unless you got a Krylon can. Okay, so he sells these Krylon cans. These are all, you know, hand painted, uh, 3D printed art pieces. These are really, really special pieces. There's only a few of these left in stock. Make sure to get those now. Um, now, let me tell you something. While this was not LL Cool J's most um, well-received album, it was iconic because I cannot think of any other rappers who appeared with exotic zoo animals on the cover of their albums. I'm trying to think now, Outkast has a lot to do with animal stuff going on, especially the Miss Jackson video. But if you can think of another major rapper that involved themselves with exotic animal life, can you please comment right now? I, um, I really can't, oh, I keep just going into the hangover with Mike Tyson where like the lion or tiger was there, but walking with a panther with the gold chain, the actual black panther. This thing is really quite large. Like, get rock this. If you're an LL Cool J fan, you need this. You also need probably a bucket hat and maybe some troop attire, but you definitely need this. Okay. Now, this is brand new from Records Are Forever. I really love it because um, what a dope, amazing way to make 3D uh, the second dopest album, Fight Me, uh, from Ice Cube, first being America Cosmos Wanted. This death certificate, everybody get wicked, is the second best album from Ice Cube. In my humble opinion, you definitely want the death certificate feet. This is a super, super 3D awesome way to pay tribute to arguably, what, top three West Coast MCs of all time? Easily, maybe top 10 rappers of all time. Okay, definitely top 10 most successful rappers of all time. And then we're gonna tease you, now we're teasing you. I actually just discovered, Eric, that we can actually put these up for sale. I didn't realize he made a bunch of these. Okay, so just not, these are gonna be limited edition because these are prototypes. So you're gonna get a prototype when we put these up. If you get a pass the Cavassier 
Cavassier bar. Okay? Pass the Cavassier. Oh, man. How dope is that with a little bottle of Cavassier? The Buster Rhymes song produced by Pharrell Williams exclusively with the National Hip Hop Museum. Okay, get that. Okay, now here's the real teaser, and this is where we're going to leave you. Who is the most famous wine drinker in hip hop? Think to yourself an answer, because I think I have somebody who may not be who you had thought of. To me, the most well-known wine drinker in hip hop. No, it's not Big Daddy Kane, although that's a good argument. It's Shizzle with the Whizzle. That's right, Mr. Sutter Home himself, MC Shan, Queensbridge. Look at that, Shizzle with the Whizzle. You're not gonna, if you know anything about MC Shan, you know how hilarious and iconic this is. And we're gonna be coming out with this in collaboration with MC Shan really, really soon with these uh, signed with uh, letters of authenticity, so. It was seasick, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm shaking it. I gave everyone epilepsy. I'm sorry if you are watching, but thank you for tuning in uh, to our little broadcast here from the Hip Hop Shop every single Wednesday. Until next Wednesday, I'm DJ Boom, and peace. I'm out of here.